Hi, this is Vince Vittori with Yankee Group. So after about 10 years of following the IPTV industry from its infancy, I have finally become a customer of IPTV through AT&T's U-verse. Um, I've had the service for about a month, and I want to talk a little bit about the um, experience that I've had. Uh, as I mentioned, it's been in, in place for about a month. The installation process was uh, pretty smooth, about a four to five hour installation total, which is, uh, I guess, about average for your uh, sort of single family suburban house uh, with three TVs. And uh, overall, that process went good. So over the last month, I've had a chance to really sort of play with it and run through its paces. A lot of good, a lot of bad. Um, I'm not going to go through every single pro and con. Um, there, there's a lot of pros and a lot, a lot of cons of the different services, but I want to talk a little bit about sort of the highlights. Um, the interesting thing about UVerse, and I think probably the biggest positive of, of the service, is that a lot of the pros center around the user experience of the TV screen, and that's a good thing because AT&T really is selling this as a, a video service first. Um, obviously, it's a triple play package that they're really pushing, but it's, it's really a video first package. So. So let's go to see what some of the pros are in the uh, customer experience on screen. One of the nice little features that Uverse has is, is that as you want to uh, see what else is on other channels, you can do it a couple different ways. One is the up down arrow on the up down left right pad, uh, and you actually see what else is on the other channels. You get a little video window, so it's kind of an innovative use of picture in picture. Um, you also get to see a title as well as what stage that particular program is at. A uh, nice little convenient feature uh, for people like me that want to see not just what is on TV, but what else is on TV. So a similar feature gets used in the guide. Uh, when you go to the main uh, menu, UVerse guide, um, again, picture in picture, uh, description, title, uh, channel, uh, stage of, of the program itself. Again, innovative use of picture in picture. Another nice feature of Uverse is the search functionality. Um, you get a nice little keypad, you can type in whatever you want. Um, pretty effective, uh, goes through not just linear, but also the on-demand content, um, as well as uh, even picking up some of the DVR content. Uh, nice is the fact it will bring up the title, uh, as well as uh, some genre. Um, don't get much in terms of the actor or director search capability, so uh, one slight negative there. Um, groupings um, are also quite nice, um, as well as the channel shortcuts. You can see specifically what's in the package that you have. Again, all creating a nice on-screen experience. Probably the best part of Uverse is something that's difficult to show on a screen, but it's the whole home capability. Um, whole home is frankly what I think of as the uh, almost a microwave uh, type of service. It's one of these things that you get and two months after you get it, you think, how on earth did I ever live without this? Um, uh, whole home DVR, I think, is, is clearly going to be a hit uh, across any service provider that deploys it. Um, we're seeing a lot of uh, positive reaction in the surveys that we've been doing as people get it into their homes. Um, and it's really the capability to uh, record on one DVR and um, watch it and pick it up on any other room um, that happens to have any type of set-top box, regardless of whether it has a DVR or not. So those are the positives. Now a few of the negatives. One really minor negative that actually is fairly significant just in my own personal user experience is the lack of a clock on the set-top box. I know it sounds like a minor thing, but frankly, I find myself turning on the guide uh, five or six times a day just to see what time it is. My old set-top did have a, uh, a clock on it, and frankly, it was, it was just a convenience thing. Second negative here is there's no social media integration. Um, AT&T did just release uh, a uh, social media application that I frankly haven't had a chance to play with just yet, but there's no Facebook, no Twitter, and frankly, I was expecting it by this point uh, in the development of Uverse as a product. So probably the biggest negative of the Uverse service right now is uh, some of the mobile aspects. Um, the, there's a couple of different ways you can look at Uverse Mobile. Uh, it's really a product for the iPhone. It's for the uh, I, I touch uh, as well as the iPad and what I find is this device which is really really good the iPad which is really good for uh, viewing content and searching out content and navigating uh, isn't really fully utilized in the in the Uverse implementation right now um, I can use it as a command and control device for my DVR I can do some searching I can uh, uh, do things like schedule recordings I can cancel recording but I really can't download and view much 
at and does have a portal uh, in which I can view things um, on my PC, I can do it on an iPod Touch, and I believe you can do it on the iPhone, but the iPad is really sort of the ideal device for a, a mobile or a non-home viewing environment. Frankly, I can't do that. So another negative of the service is the way that Uverse has implemented the whole home media search capability. The Microsoft middleware that they're using allows uh, a user to go out and search out and discover all of the content that they have on, on PCs and other devices that are sitting around the home on the home network. Um, unfortunately, if you happen to have that media sitting on a Mac platform, uh, which I, I suspect a lot of people probably do, um, the middleware doesn't necessarily automatically find it. And so, a um, bit of a negative there because my guess is there's a lot of people with a lot of music, a lot of videos um, that they would love to be able to watch on their TV that are sitting on Mac platforms that just can't be uh, uh, transferred to the TV uh, in a very easy um, sort of self-starter type of fashion. So overall, I would give the service probably a B if I were uh, grading it. Um, I think there's a lot of things that can be done with it in the future. Um, I think there are a number of positives. Uh, again, I think whole home DVR is clearly a hit. Um, and I think that that capability is something that they should continue to run with. Um, but overall, I think it's a good product and I look forward to uh, watching it expand from here.